Tennessee Valley. The time is 6.56 in the Rocket City. And we've got a powerful man of God on the air. How you doing, Pastor Barrow? Good morning, Sister Sandifer. How are you today? I'm great. I'm great. I am so excited about the word this morning. Well, faithful, you know what? He is faithful and true. It's a terrific Tuesday, and we're delighted to be connected to God and his word. Well, all right, Tennessee Valley, join me now for Pastor Mark Barrows every day right here at WDJL, 1000 AM, for a powerful word of God. Take it away, Pastor. All right, indeed, it delighted to be sharing the word of the living God. His word is the difference maker. Why is that? Because Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19 declares to us, God is not a man that he should lie, nor is he the son of man that he should repent. Whatever he says, he brings to pass, and whatever he speaks, he makes good on. Therefore, for you and I to build our lives upon what he has said, what he has spoken, is a sure foundation, a certain outcome as we continue to navigate life by the word of God. His word, Psalms 119, is a lamp for our feet. It is a light for our pathway. Not only that, friend, but we've been talking about the gifts of God in us. And particularly in this series, we're teaching at uh, Connected Church this month uh, on the gifts of God in you. We started this week talking about the gift of the Holy Spirit, the person of the Holy Spirit, as we refer to him as the Holy Ghost, the third person of the Godhead. He, of course, is introduced to, to us in Genesis chapter one from the very beginning. As God is created and restoring the world, he created, the, the Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void. Darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved, hovered. He is introduced immediately in creation as the force and energy, the power and might of God, exercising as, as God uh, the, the strength and might to bring God's word to pass, to the Father, the Word, the Spirit, all working together uh, to accomplish as as God uh, the very purpose and intent and to do so with ability and power. Well, in the same fashion, the scripture says in 1 John chapter 4 and verse 13 that we know that uh, we are living in God and God is living in us because he has sent his spirit to dwell in us. Another translation says he has put his own Holy Spirit into our hearts as a proof to us that we are living with him and he with us. Still another translation says this is how we know we're living steadily and deeply in him and he in us. He has given us life from his life from his very own spirit. Well, friend, that's so important for us to know, and it makes us understand why in talking about God's love for us and uh, paralleling it to uh, a father, a parent in this world, says, if you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father give good things to those who ask of him? Well, in uh, Luke chapter 11, the, interestingly, Luke as a writer captures this to say, if uh, you being evil knowing how to give give gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask? I find that fascinating and that he told tells and translates his truth in this way because the Holy Spirit is the revealer. The Holy Spirit is the teacher, the mentor. The scripture tells us in John 16 that when he comes, Jesus himself speaking, he leads us and guides us in, uh, to all the truth, that he shows us things to come. And Jesus says something powerful. He will take of mine and he will reveal it unto you. 
all that the Father has is mine, and therefore I have said, he, the Holy Spirit, will take of mine and reveal it to you. So then we can, we can take from these things that God's greatest desire is to share his resources and kingdom and power and might and ability uh, by his Holy Spirit with us and to reveal them to us and what Christ has already done in his death, burial, and resurrection and what he has provided for us and given to us to cause the, those things to, 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 to be uh, brought into full fruition and effect for our lives. See, this is a key for us. Understanding that the Holy Spirit doesn't just pat us on the head, make us feel warm and cry, or even just speak with other tongues. Uh, you know, Holy Spirit, he manifests himself in various ways. But at the end of the day, his whole purpose is to let us know that we are living in God and God is living in us and to empower us with all that God has said, all that he has spoken, to bring it alive in our lives personally. But then get this, to also make us witnesses and able to share the manifold grace and gifts of God in the lives of others. Oh man, the Holy Spirit, he as a gift of God is for us to be the difference maker. He's the one called alongside to help. Are you letting him help you today? Or do you just periodically, you know, feel your help? But do you know that he's present and that he remains in you? And he is the proof that you are living in God and God is living in you. Let's embrace his help and let, us, let him reveal and lead us and make us witnesses today, both in our own lives of his goodness and in sharing that same with others. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, now YouTube. There you'll find these and other encouraging words to let you know how much God loves you. Build your faith up in his love and the identity that you have in him. That, that together, we're the difference that makes the difference that God desires and we desire in this world. So we awaken to his purpose of knowing him and the love that he has for us and mobilize his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news this morning, Faithful. Well, all right. That was news that we can all definitely use. Thank you for that powerful word of God. Yes, ma'am. Blessings on you and the Gospel Explosion family for keeping Jesus as the center of our joy all day long. Lord willing, we'll talk to you again real soon. All right. Have a wonderful day. Yes, ma'am. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, hey y'all, the Holy Spirit, the helper, he is called alongside to help you. Hey, receive him in his fullness. Let him bring out of you and through you all that God has already given to you in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the enabler, he is the empower, he is the revealer. Walk with him today, knowing that he's in you and that you are living in God. Have a great day. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.